Peepsy Doodles and welcome back to the Ostara mini series. So today we are going to be making for you guys some eggshell protection blend and monster. Monster what? Monster spray. Monster spray. So if you guys have little ones in the craft that you're kind of trying to get them into it with you or find projects for them, um, you can use the same ingredients, only a few less of what we're making for the protection blend and help them make a safe to use monster spray for their room at night or for whenever they're just feeling a little bit scared. And then they can spray it and get rid of monsters. Um, so for me personally, I feel like, you know, you're probably like, why are we making a protection blend at Ostara? Why aren't we doing like a fertility spell or something like that? Well, I feel like um, in don't crucify me, but a lot of people believe that Samhain is the witch's new year. I personally really like the idea of the spring equinox being the new year for witches just because it starts the cycle of the seasons over. Winter, I feel like, is the end. It's the, the you know, that time where everything dies and goes dormant. Spring is where everything starts over and starts new. So I personally really like the idea of spring being more along the lines of the witch's new year. Um, and so things to do around the witch's new year or around the spring, if you don't think of it as the new year, that's fine. But things to do around uh, springtime. I, it's my birthday. Uh, it's not your birthday. Yes, it is. But it's close. Um, yeah. Would be to like renew protection that you may have laid last year, or maybe you haven't laid any at all but to renew some protection around the property of, or around the perimeter of your property or around the um, perimeter of your home. So, should we get started to tell them what they need? Uh-huh. Okay, so if you're gonna be making the protection blend, you'll just need like a jar of some sort. If you're gonna be making the monster spray, you'll need some kind of spray bottle. You can get these at the dollar store for like next to nothing. We just took an old Windex bottle that, cause I don't really use Windex anymore. Um, we just took that and cleared it out. We cleaned it out really, really well with um, antibacterial soap and kind of let it simmer so that it doesn't smell like, so that it doesn't smell, smell. smell like chemically Windex anymore. Um, so for your protection eggshell blend, you are gonna need eggshells. These are ones that I collected um, and my family has been helping me collect over the past couple of days because I made hard boiled eggs. Um, and I laid them out on a flat surface, like on a paper towel to dry. So these are just, they're just eggshells. Um, this is kind of what they look, woo, this is what they look like after I spent a couple minutes with the mortar and pestle with them. You're gonna need, what's this? Salt. You're gonna need salt. This is sea salt. Now I just want you guys to know that you can make a beautiful eggshell protection blend with just eggshells and salt. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. If you just want to take your eggshells, crush them up, add in some sea salt, crush that up and put it around your property, it's that's beautiful. It works wonderful. Eggshells are great for protection, as is sea salt, as you guys know. Um, but there's a few things that I, have added in to kind of help to boost that protection. So the rest of this is really optional. Um, the first of that is black sea salt. Um, black sea salt is wonderful for warding off negativity and for protection. Um, I have one that I made myself that I will be using in my blend and then I have one that I got at Marshall's um, and I will be using this in her blend. I just don't want to use the one that I made myself because it has ashes left over and I just, I don't know, I just would rather use the one that was purchased. I want that. Yep, you get that. But you don't get to use it yet. I'm also going to be using Dragon's Blood Resin um, for me because in my protection blend, not in hers. So Dragon's no, Blood. If I don't have, if I do have that, it will smell nasty. Girl, Dragon's Blood smells super good. I just don't want, if you accidentally spray yourself in the face, I don't want you to have dragon's blood on your face. No. No. So, um, dragon's blood resin is amazing. I use this for any kind of magical workings that I need that really need to pack a punch. For me, 
um, dragon's blood really does hold the essence and the energy of dragons, I feel like. And so whenever I need either a magical punch or a super protective um, ingredient, I go to dragon's blood. So we're gonna be using dragon's blood resin. And this is probably a surprise to you, but we're gonna be using lavender. I'm that what I'm gonna use. Yes, lavender is going into her spray, but lavender is the other piece of the puzzle that's going into ours. I've been doing a lot of work with lavender over the past uh, week or so uh, with the Green Witch Living Course. And one of the things that I found out about lavender that a lot of you probably know that I didn't really know is that lavender is a beautiful herb for protection. Um, it used to be used way back in the day. Um, people used to take sprigs of it and turn it into a cross and hold it and hang it over their doors for protection. So um, I really like the idea of putting a lavender into our protection thing. So for it's your the table. Yeah. For your um, monster spray, if you're doing one for your little ones, you're gonna need your spray bottle. And then for that, like I said, that you can literally just you don't have to do anything fancy. You could just do water and sea salt, um, and that would be perfect. For her and I, we're going, you like literally water and sea salt would be absolutely fine. Um, what we're gonna do is she's gonna be able to crush, she's gonna crush up her own eggshells. So for her, we're gonna use eggshells. We're gonna use sea salt. We're gonna use, hold on babe. We're gonna use black sea salt and we're gonna use lavender. Um, all of those things. Now, while salt, if she gets it in her eyes, probably won't feel very good, none of those things um, are going to be harmful to her if she inhales them. Lavender is very kid safe, so that's all the stuff that we're going to be putting in her monster spray. So, let's get started. Ready? Uh huh. What are you going to start with? Okay. Ugh. You only put a little bit in there, okay? Okay. Okay. So for us, we're gonna start with our eggshells. So these eggshells, obviously, I have already ground up a little bit, and I'm gonna ground them up a little bit more. I'm gonna save some of the... Girl, did you just get that all over the floor? Um, I'm gonna save some of these for her. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your eggshells, you're gonna put them in your mortar and pestle, and you are going to grind them up. They don't have to be in a complete powder form. Um, you know, they really can just be slightly crushed, you know, I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but just like little pieces. It's not really a powder form. You can take those and put them in there, honey, and crush them up. No, so we're going to work on crushing these up and I will bring you back once we've done so. This is what my eggshells look like after I've ground them up pretty well. Like I said, they're not really into a powder. I don't really need them to be. You can grind them down further if you like, but they're just crushed enough for them to be sprinkleable. All right, so next up, we're going to add some sea salt. And like, a, you can kind of, you know, just judge how much you want to add in there. But don't forget about, that goes in mine. Well, of course it goes in yours. Here, I'll put some, here, I'll put some in a little top for you here so that you can get to it. There you go. Now you can put in whatever you want. All right. So then, of course, take your mortar and pestle, mix that in. My eggshells are still in here. So we're just kind of mixing those two energies together. And use your own intuition when you're mixing these. You know, if you know, kind of feel out what you want to put in here and how much of what you want to put in here. Um, you can have more eggshells that I have or less eggshells. Okay. So now let's add in the black sea salt. Like I said, I personally am adding um, ones that I made myself. My daughter is using ones that she bought. Yep, you do need this. I'll give you this when I add it in mine, okay? So let me get this chopped up and I will be back with you guys. This is what I have so far. So this is eggshell, sea salt, and black sea salt. All right, so next we are going to be adding in our protection blend, we're gonna be adding some dragon's blood. 
Um, I'm just taking a couple pieces of the resin, dropping it on in there. Like I said, I really like dragon's blood. Plus there's a little bit of the powder, but if you can get the powder out, you know, you can just kind of add the powder if you'd rather do that or if you already have it crushed up. La, 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 la. Oh my. All right, so careful. So I'm gonna keep blending. Here we are with our dragon's blood added in. All right, so last but not least, we are going to add our, what are we gonna add? I don't know. What is this? You just said it. Smell it, what is that? Lavender. Lavender. So I'm gonna add some lavender flowers. Where's my plate? There you go. We're gonna add some of those. And then we're just gonna go ahead and crush these into our blend. And then I'll, of course, like I said, I'm just gonna kind of add as I need to add, and as far as how I feel. And when you're all done mixing, you know, if you feel like your blend needs a little bit of something else, if you feel like, you know, you really should add some more dragon's blood or you really should add some more lavender, um, you know, by all means, continue to add until the energy of your protection blend is what you want it to be. All right, so this is what I have. This is lavender, Mom, black sea salt. I will. Lavender, black sea salt, regular sea salt, um, dragon's blood, and eggshells. All right, peeps, and there you have it. Now we've got our little protection blend here for you to sprinkle over your property, and your monster spray here with lots of lavender on top for your little one's bedroom. Um, we'll make a nice little label for this and she'll be able to keep it in her room and spray it before bedtime. And for me, I'll be able to take this and go around the, either the perimeter of my property, which is probably what I'll do, and then also the perimeter of my home to make a second I layer. I can help you do that. I know, I did this one. You did your monster spray. Um, and so when you're doing that, there's a couple, oh, thank you. When you're doing this, there's a couple different things that you can do as far as, um, you know, using it. Um, it literally has the properties of protection already in it. So as you're going about, you can use it right away if you want to. You can go outside and as you're sprinkling it, you know, just imagine that protective color that is protective to you, whether it's white, whether it's purple, whether it's black. Imagine that color as you're tracing the line all the way around your property in a clockwise direction. Um, you know, kind of imagine a bead of white light all the way around whatever it is that you're sprinkling it around. You can say a little incantation. You know, I, I use this protection blend in order to protect all of the people, places, and things that are on this property, um, you know, from all things that are within and without this realm. You know, if you want to include things like ghosts and other entities that can travel within and outside of the realm um you know and just kind of make up a nice little incantation that works for you a little chant that you can say as you're going around your property and um yeah so that was our protection eggshell protection blend for this and our monster spray for your little ones um i'm excited to see what you guys come up with I'd be more than happy if you guys would tag me um, from Piper's Hollow on Instagram. I would love to see some of the things that you come up with. And I will see you guys soon for another Ostara video.